No, oh, now he's banging his tail. Dodger, come here. Right, come up here. Sit down. My name's Karen G, and this is Dodger, Dodger Dog. I had a career which spanned 34 years uh, with um, NatWest, RBS. So I started working for them when I was 16, and I took voluntary redundancy at 50. I decided to start my own business. So I'm a life and business coach. I suppose I built a new life really and everything around me and everything I do now is totally unlinked and unrelated to that 34 years in banking. My daughter works for the RSPCA and she was saying to me, you need to get a Staffy. A Staffy was a great breed and it was getting a bad name through bad ownership. So in the six months that I was at home, I got Dodger and I joined the Samaritans. In fact, me and Dodger started training and we did a 25K walk for them. It was about a life change really after a 34 year career. So that's when I started to think about Dodger's story. I just decided that I was gonna write stories about Dodger. Dodger is on a mission to help other staffies. So I wanted to promote love, kindness, friendship with Dodger as that symbol. All the books are true stories. Dodger decides that he's going to visit schools, visit hospitals. He's a pets as therapy dog, so he's great with the elderly. He's great with children who've got autism. He's going later on today as well to uh, see the old people in this home. He, he just loves it. The biggest lesson that I've learned through this journey with the books is how many great amazing people there are out there people who are living with struggles people who are overcoming disability overcoming disadvantage and um, that they just need a bit of help sometimes and in fact we all need a bit of help sometimes when i was divorced i divorced and i had three children so i, I look at my life and i understand that I've overcome some things and I'm stronger for it. I've always had people around me that have supported me through changes in my life. I find that I want to share that support with people and also to help people. I used to have a nine to five existence. Now, when I think about my week, every day is different. I work probably more hours than I used to work when I was in the bank, but it's not work. It's really pleasure, it's kind of the perfect life for me. I kind of rewrote the Karen G story at 50. I must say, you know, it's an adventure and I love it, love every day of it really. So let's just see where it takes us. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.